What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Curry Spice back with another video. And I'm leaving the Apple store. Um, you're not gonna believe this, but my phone um, died. I couldn't get it on. It was in an endless reboot. And then I have a, I have a high school reunion that I'm headed to right now. And my phone was malfunctioning last night. Right before I was about to edit a YouTube episode when I went to the beach with my family. And um, I was able to get most of my um, videos and photos back with the exception of the video from yesterday when I was at the beach. So I'm very upset about that, but um, yeah. Yeah, just, it was a rocky day. I wasn't so happy today. And I feel kind of stranded because I'm in Roosevelt Field Mall and I have to make a way to get over to Ozone Park. <laughs> so, but yeah, but I'm trying to count my blessings. I'm just happy that my phone is back on and I'm back to YouTubing. Um, I just, I was trying to charge my phone. I have like about half, like maybe 53%. I was trying to stay in there as long as I could, but I have to head on the road and get going. Like, part of me doesn't want to go to the reunion. Um, I can explain it a little more later. I'm just about to call an Uber or a Lyft, whichever is cheaper. Okay, so I'm in the Uber now. Um, I should be heading there soon. Do you know how long it takes for us to get there? 51 minutes. 51? Okay. So, and it starts in about an hour, so I'll probably get there, like, just with a few minutes to spare. So, um, while we ride, I'll just tell you why I don't want to go to the reunion. So, Using the left three lanes, make a left turn on all like, this time period was when my grandmother passed away. Um, this was, like, back in, uh, 96. That's when she was diagnosed with breast cancer and um, she had to go through chemotherapy and everything. And since my grandmother's my, she was my guardian, I was very close to her. And um, even to this day, her death affects me very much. Um, I know how they say time heals all wounds. Oh, yes, please. Yes, the window's kind of up. <laughs> Window, can't hear. But, um, yeah, like, you know how they always say, like, time heals all wounds when you're, like, grieving a loved one. So, this is the one wound that time can't heal because I've just, I'm too deeply, I'm too deep in grief. And I've done okay for myself the last few decades without her, but it's, increasingly difficult and like attending this re reunion is kind of like reminding me of a remind me of that difficult time and it's just like bringing back all these memories because I, I actually really love this school um, this is a school I went to in um, in New York it's a uh, John Adams High School and um, I after like the year that I was there, like right around the time when my grandmother um, passed away, or actually, yeah, um, I was forced to move. Um, yeah, I was forced to move in with my aunt. Actually, no, I think this is around the time she was sick. She didn't pass away yet, but she was sick. And um, that's when I had to relocate to the Bronx and uh, my aunts had to take care of me and um and I didn't like that but um but yeah so it was just the time is just kind of reminding me of um like it's just having to go there and try to like smile and like 
I'm getting to know these people pretty much for the first time. Um, I'd be lucky if I know maybe like three or four of them. One person I know for sure. Another person I also know, but we never really talked like that. But I would be lucky if I knew like maybe four people tonight. It, if they came up to me and like, oh, how are you doing? You know, like, I don't think it's like going to be that deep. Because, um, yeah, I just really don't think anybody's going to remember me. So part of me just feels kind of like, almost like it's pointless to go. <laughs> but then I already paid the money for it. I don't want to like renege on it, you know. And then I'll end up probably feeling guilty that I didn't go and. And I mean, plus there's gonna be free dinner there. Well, it's not really free because it was included in the price. It's like just, just a little over $80 just to get in, just to get a ticket. So it's gonna be alcohol there and it's gonna be dinner there, but it's it's all included in the ticket. So at least I'm I'm good on that. But um, yeah, I just, I just didn't want all the memories brought back up and uh, feeling like I missed out by not graduating from this high school that I love so much, you know, and um, I wasn't as attached to my other high school, the the one that I actually ended up graduating from. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it, I guess, but it was, it was a, right around the time that my grandmother passed away and I was forced to transition, and uh, I guess I did okay there, considering, but I... I still just wanted to stay at John Adams. So that's the reunion I'm going to right now in John Adams. Yeah, I just wanted to stay at John Adams. I didn't want to have to relocate to another school. And um, I was I, I had a boyfriend at the time and I was forced to, uh, well, like when I transferred boroughs, went from like, I left from the Queens to live in the Bronx with my aunts and my boyfriend at the time didn't do long distance relationships so he ended it and uh, and that hurt me it really did hurt but uh, and yeah I mean I loved my boyfriend at the time you know I loved him and um, so that that hurt too like on top of losing my grandmother and um, I know everything happens for a reason but it's just like when you're forced to transition like life takes you down another path but it's like a path you really didn't want to go down because you were stuck on the path that you were already on <laughs> but then you get rerouted it's like nope you're going this way <laughs> you know um so I didn't like that I didn't like the unfairness of life but I just now I just, now I, just I still feel bad about everything but like the way things turn now like I wish my grandmother could have still been here you know and you know I wish I was able to uh keep that relationship going you know without anything standing in the way and but I mean everything happens for a reason you know so I guess it if it was really meant to work out it would have worked out so I'd try to try to see it a different way it gets difficult sometimes and then, like, the other thing is that I've, like, seen things about high school reunions on television. And what I got from it is, like, I don't know how true this is, but what I got from it is that it's, like, a 20-year reunion. And I'm supposed to be, like, having the time of my life I'm like at the top of the world with everything I've accomplished in 20 years after graduating high school and you know like I'm the CEO of this huge like world renowned company and you know <laughs> and like yeah married with kids like I am and like don't have a care in the world like well off and you know like but I think that's more of like the corporate way um, of looking at it that's like what society feeds us like that image of success and I still have some conditioning that um, societal conditioning that I need to uh, detach from 
which is going to take some work. But, uh, but yeah, I am successful. And my, and, I, and sometimes I don't feel successful. Sometimes I don't. Because there is a part of me that's like going to this reunion feeling like a failure. But I shouldn't feel that way because I'm only doing things right now that I want to do. Um, even in these side gigs that I do, I'm doing what I want to do. I'm selling on eBay. I'm my own boss right now. You know, I'm establishing myself, learning entrepreneurship and, you know, I'm researching, expanding my skills and I, I'm doing it. I really am. Um, and that's something that not everyone has you know some people just get stuck in a certain mindset like they get stuck in the cubicle mindset and and that's that mindset that I'm shying away from you know so but yeah but I just wanted to tell you guys that so you can kind of kind of see where my head is at right now <laughs> but I'll be okay once I get there I'll be okay I almost didn't like Parmy didn't want to go but I think the other part of me just needs to, like, be brave and just just go as, like, a way of, like, as, like, a sense of, like, closure in a sense. Like, goodbye, old chapter. Like, on to a new chapter and get to make new friends. And we'll see how it goes today. Like, if, if someone, someone remembers me, I'm like, okay. But I'm not expecting it. <laughs> But if it doesn't happen, it's fine. Like I said, I was only a year at this high school. So. I'm just happy I have my phone fixed. So that's one thing I'm really happy about. Because I didn't think I was going to be able to um, film any footage from tonight at all. And that would have really bummed me out. I already lost a, a YouTube episode. Because um, my phone was stuck in like an endless reboot. I just left the Apple store. You saw me leave the Apple store. So I was stuck in an endless reboot. And I know how to get out of it. And I was YouTubing. Like I was looking up these episodes or um, of like people talking about how to repair it. And I tried to like I attempted one of them and like a hard reset and it wouldn't work. So I had to go in to Apple. They helped me and I didn't have to pay anything. So that really helped me a lot. So I'm just happy that's over. And it's raining right now, which makes it worse. Ugh. Oh well. At least it rains on a day where I'm feeling deep. <laughs> but I'll feel better. I'll feel better. And the day's already starting to get better. Or the evening, I should say. <laughs> Since my phone is working. Okay, I'm finally making it out of the car. Have a good night. <laughs> I didn't forget anything, I don't think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay. <laughs> and it's raining. Still freaking freaking raining. So annoying. I actually want to go to the store if they have those. <laughs> See if they have those Merino Italian ices. But I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat so it doesn't make sense. Oh, I used to take that bus. It's the Q7. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, wow. That's the bus we used to take. That is so cool. I took it with my ex-boyfriend. I think that's the bus. This is Queens, New York. I haven't been here in forever, guys. So that's why I'm all looking around like I'm a tourist. <laughs> I actually want to stop somewhere really quick. I'm not gonna go though. I'm not gonna go yet. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Let's go inside. Ah. 
this. Yeah. But it's the it's, it's the big thing. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Yes. That has that has two strong shoulders. Because we know you know my ID. Yes. Okay, perfect. But this is just for safety. You know. Yeah. No, 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 no. The the one you know to to get that. Okay, hold on for a second, guys. Hey, this is good. I really just want this to be something that people see. I'm sorry. Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You look so familiar. It was either jail you or high remember. school. <laughs> I remember seeing you in the office. Jail or high school. I know we just started, guys, but like I said, I don't know anyone yet. <laughs> I don't recognize anybody. But it's still early. We're not even really started. Haven't even started yet, so. Is it too early for a drink? <laughs> oh man. I used to draw these when I was a kid. Oh shit. I forgot all about this. You know? Yeah. Check out PDS. Oh yeah, like the six or nine. That was the awesome one. I'm an artist. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I'm an Cell phone. Oh, I remember I had the Nokia one. I did. I had the, I had the Nokia one, and then I got the next cell. Chill, chill. And I had to pay five hundred dollars as credit because I had no credit. <laughs> I said five hundred dollars. You guys want to take a quick one together? Yes, oh yeah, put, of course. Together, uh, photo. Sounds good. Okay, it's photo time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. My shoe. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> Would you like to say hi to YouTube? Angles. Would you like to say hi to YouTube? Yeah. Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to this person right here. I found one person. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, so you verify Oh, it's a video. For you So, um, do you have Citron? Okay, that's gonna change things. <laughs> Do you have uh, cranberry juice? Oh. Do you have anything that where we place the on? I was gonna make citron Malibu and cranberry. That's what I was gonna do. Citron Malibu and cranberry. But um, but then I see that Kahlua though. <laughs> I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the way you think that. You know, we got to go on this. <laughs> I haven't, haven't been here since, like, uh, well, in this area. I think since around that time. I don't, because I haven't really came here. There was, like, no reason for me to. You got the blue earrings. I mean, like, that's, like, the best feature. You got the blue there. I was supposed to wear, um, I was supposed to wear like the silver earrings, like the big ones. But somebody told me to go with these, and then I'm wearing fake gloves. I love because I love gloves. But I don't want to come into the hall, like you know the gaping hall. Because yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, because I want to be able to just keep them in when I want to keep them in. But if I get like a job and try to take them out, then I, it's just gonna look nasty. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. Okay, so I'm
funny why I think it's a ball pass to a BB suit. That sounds like something I would say. So what kind of iPhone is that? The NX Max. Oh, is that a case or is that the one that works? Yeah, that's my case. Oh, okay. at the photo booth. I really like them. I'm having a good time so far. So I was wrong. People remember me here. <laughs> I like it. I like the guitar. I do think I like that one. Yeah. I knew it. When did you graduate? 99. But Just wanted to take that opportunity to this opportunity to thank you. Also, 
Um, I woke up one night in January, and, uh, in December, and I said, oh, uh, our 20-year reunion is coming up. And then I said, okay, let me get a few people on my team to kind of come on this ride with me for the next six months. And um, Lisa, Helen, uh, Linda, you all know Linda because she's a money lady. <laughs> Jonathan, who's responsible for everything that you see here. Uh, Kristen, decorations. Mike, Anthony, who came in like last minute. And by, by the way, I must say, is killing it as a DJ. Um, did I forget anybody? I didn't want to forget anybody. Um, Jonathan, Nelson, the guys taking pictures and responsible for all of the signage and everything that you see, the visual arts, art, artistic things that you see. Um, I decided to do this event because um, I don't know if anybody, well, those of you who do know, in 2015, I uh, kick cancer ass, right? Uh, when I survived, I thought to myself, wow, like I have a second chance at life, right? And what was really important to me was the, uh, the relationships that I formed along the way. And um, I'm alive today because I fought, right? It's all about mindset. I wanted to be there for people who were there for me. And when I look around the room, you know, I see Juan, I see Miss Ben Cohen, I see Miss McMullen, I see Sharon, I see Danielle, and of course, my beautiful team up here. And I would not be here without everybody's support. Um, this, in the past 20 years, we lost a lot of people, right? We lost a lot of people, and the moments that we have now is what makes, sorry, if I get emotional, please excuse me, because this is an emotional time. Um, it's times like this that makes everything worth it, right? It's coming together as a collective to celebrate friendship, community, right, that really counts. And I challenge everybody in this room to stay in contact, right? It should not, another 20 years should not pass us before we reach out to one another. And Facebook and Instagram does not count, right? <laughs> Facebook, so get each other's numbers, go to each other's houses, right? Once upon a time, we didn't have Instagram, we didn't have Facebook, and we did pretty okay. We're keeping in contact with each other. Let's go, let's go back to those times, right? Um, when you walked in, when you walked in, uh, you you saw a sign that said Gaudiamo's EV Tour. And for the class of 59 and everybody who sat in a seat in Ms. Russo's class, you know exactly what that meant. And it basically means like, therefore, we rejoice, right? So today we are rejoicing in friendship, right? In fellowship and in community. Um, it's a Latin word, give me a second. Um, I'm almost 40, so um, iPhones are new to me, so hold on. We'll get, we'll get to that, we'll get to that in a second. But I just wanted to remind you, because it is in Latin, and I have a, a translation for you, okay? So the, the translation to that song, it says this. Let us therefore rejoice while we are young. After our youth, after our troublesome old age, the ground will hold us. Our life is brief. It will shortly end. Death comes quickly, cruelly snatches us. No one is spared. Where are those who before us existed in this world? You may go up to the gods, you may cross into the underworld, if you wish to see them. Long live the university, long live the teachers, long live each male student, long live each female student. May, these, may they always flourish. Long live the state, 
and those who rule it. Long live our city and the charity of benefactors which protect us here. Long live all young women, easy and beautiful. Long live what? Well, tender, lovable, honest, hardworking, perish sadness, perish haters, that's in there, perish the devil, whoever is against the student fraternity, as well as those who mock us, who has gathered now of the university. They gather from long distances, immediately joining our common forum. Long live our fellowship. Long live the studious. May truth and honesty thrive, flourish with our fraternity, and our homeland be prosperous. May our alma mater thrive, that which educated us, dear ones and comrades, who we let scatter afar, let us assemble. So we've done this. We've assembled. We are now rejoicing. Um, while we get into our next part, I want you guys to start to sip because this is a different type of toast, right? Um, Ms. Amoruso, who some of us hold really, really near and dear to our hearts, has, in death, has, is still teaching us in a way. When we were, we, she taught this when we were like 17 years old, right? And we didn't know exactly what it meant. But these words are so powerful today. And we must come together, right? We must remember where we came from. We must remember who we are. Tomorrow is not promised. The person sitting next to you, the person sitting across from you, may not be here in 20 years. You know, that's a real reality. So take this opportunity. I urge you to just say hello, even if you don't know the person. Get to know that person. And I promise you, your life here will be worthwhile. Without further ado, as you sip your champagne, I want you to now listen to one of Miss Amber Rousseau's babies, right? Class of 1998, right? Jeffrey Hall. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna set the stage.
Ladies with John Adams, West Indian Club, Spark. Listen, I need everybody to grab a partner. If it's the same gender, it doesn't matter. We all family here tonight. Y'all feel me? We all family in here tonight. Y'all feel me? Same gender, different gender. Grab a partner. We're going to have one of those good times before we close out the night. Yo, DJ, let's go. I'm scared. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Damn. Where's my drink? I need another drink. 